students welcome to top scholars in this video we will know about something very interesting that happens in space that is eclipses we will get to know about the types of eclipses so let's start before we begin with the types of eclipses it's important to understand what really is an eclipse as per nasa's definition an eclipse occur when one heavenly body such as moon or planet moves into the shadow of another heavenly body now let's understand the two types of eclipses lunar and solar let's understand lunar eclipses first you know that the moon moves around the earth right but do you know that the earth also moves around the sun at the same time when this happens sometimes earth moves between the sun and the moon and this causes the earth to block the sunlight that is reflected by the moon yes the moon reflects sunlight and that's what makes it shine now when the earth comes in between what happens is that instead of the light hitting the moon's surface earth's shadow falls on the moon this is what we know as an eclipse of the moon or a lunar eclipse it can occur only when the moon is full and we can see it from the earth at night there are two types of lunar eclipses first type is the total lunar eclipse it occurs when the moon and the sun are on exact opposite side of the earth although the moon is in earth's shadow some sunlight reaches the moon this sunlight passes through the earth's atmosphere and filters out most of the blue light which makes the moon appear red to people on earth the second type is partial lunar eclipse it happens when the part of the moon enters the earth's shadow in a partial eclipse earth's shadow appears very dark on the side of the moon facing earth a lunar eclipse is generally a few hours long and at least two partial lunar eclipses happen every year but total lunar eclipses are rare it is safe to look at a lunar eclipse now let's know about solar eclipses sometimes the moon moves between the sun and the earth this makes the moon block the sunlight from reaching the earth which causes an eclipse of the sun or a solar eclipse during a solar eclipse the moon cast a shadow onto earth there are three main types of solar eclipses number 1 total solar eclipse we can see this from a small area on earth you have to be in the center of the moon's shadow when it hits earth to see this eclipse the sky becomes very dark like during the night the sun moon and earth must be in a direct line for this to occur next is partial solar eclipse this happens when the sun moon and earth are not exactly aligned the sun appears to have a dark shadow on a small part of its surface third is annual solar eclipse this occurs when the moon is far away from the earth the moon appears small because it is so far away therefore it does not block the sun entirely the moon ends up looking like a dark disk on the top of larger sun colored disk It appears as if there was a ring around the moon. Every 18 months, the solar eclipse occurs somewhere on Earth. They last only a few minutes, and therefore people get very excited to watch it. However, you should never look directly at the sun, as it can permanently damage your eyes. Therefore, proper safety equipments is used to look at any type of solar eclipse. With this, we have come to an end of this topic. We hope you had fun learning about eclipses. Now, let's practice some questions. Question 1. What is a lunar eclipse? Question 2. What are the types of solar eclipses? Question 3. How frequently does a lunar eclipse occur? And question 4. What happens during a partial lunar eclipse? So, that's all for today. 